Hello, well today I'm in Llandelo in lovely Carmarthenshire. Now this whole area has been associated with political, religious, commercial and military power for over 2,000 years and today it's known as one of the most attractive towns in the county with stylish shops and cafes. But it's also rich in history and of course there's great walking. This walk, which starts in Llandelo Town Centre, soon passes the Church of St Taylor and an ancient well underneath. And I head down the hill past the iconic coloured houses towards the River Towy over which the single arch road bridge was completed in 1848 and it's grade 2 listed. The path through Castle Woods is magical and full of various trees, plants and flowers and is well known for the bluebells that appear every spring. And before long, you've left the busy and bustling town behind you. And so if you do fancy a short walk, well, you can walk up this ramp and head back into Chandelo. But if you do have time, well, you won't want to miss the longer walk, which will take you up to one of Carmarthen's most impressive castle ruins. Before I reach the castle ruins, however, I walk through the grounds of the 19th century Chan the Vaisant Church, the family church of the Lord of Dinebur. And Richard Charles Rees, the ninth Baron of Dinebur, is buried in this delightful little graveyard. So onwards and upwards, through the gate, and I walk in the National Trust fields, again carpeted with bluebells and primroses, and teeming with birds, insects and butterflies. This part of the walk is not really that suitable for wheelchairs and buggies, but you can reach the ruins of Dineva Castle by car, and it certainly occupies an impressive position above the Towie's water meadows. Dineva was the capital of De Heibath, then West Wales, and was a stronghold of the ruling princes of Wales at the time. And it's well worth making the effort to take this longer walk to admire the walls and the ramparts, and of course, to marvel at the magnificent views. These Welsh castles are as popular as ever, of course, and I'm always amazed how well we've preserved these ancient ruins and made them so accessible to the public. And these views, they must be amongst the best in the county. The castle keep is particularly impressive and was modified as a summer house in the 1600s, and the ruins today are managed by Cadw. I asked Sarah Jones, one of the wardens in Dineville Park, what makes this place so special. In my opinion, what makes a park Dineville so special is the history that we have here. And the place really is seeped in history. We've got the ancient oaks um, along with the other trees. One is about 800 years old, we believe. And then you've got the White Park cattle who can be seen out the front of Newton House. Again, they date back to around 950 years being at Dineville. And then you go from that to the uh, deer. And it, again, as you're walking around, and it, it's almost in some ways like you're taking a step back in time and because of the deer and the cattle they're like living pieces of history. You could spend all day in the castle grounds but it's time to walk again and to admire the bluebell carpets and the wonderful woods as I head towards one of the most impressive buildings in the county, Newton House. Newton House was the main residence of the Rees family and it's been restored to what it would have been like in Victorian times. The gardens behind the house have also been restored to their former glory and overlook the Deer Park, which was landscaped by Capability Brown. And the famous and rare White Park cattle have been at Dineville for at least a thousand years and they have to be seen. The wildlife is abundant and the flora varied and glorious as I head back towards the town of Llandelo along bluebell and buttercup covered paths and under a canopy of trees, old and new.
and you'll be surprised after leaving Castle Woods to come across a wonderful bandstand overlooking the town and the surrounding countryside. So a fantastic walk of around three and a half to four hours with plenty of places to sit and rest. And don't forget there's a colour map of the walk available to download from the Discover Carmarthenshire website. So whether it's hot or whether it's not, walking in Carmarthenshire, well you just can't beat it. I've always liked Llandelo and it's a popular place. But with Dinebo Castle, Llandebe St Church and Newton House, there's an abundance of history here too. So this walk really does have it all.